Now they don't play anything else. They may just do that. So I heard a kid doing that for about five minutes. But that's the name of a famous, uh, famous song. And who's the composer, kids? Right, Ludwig van Beethoven. And who did he write this song for? <laughs> wow, where has the time gone? I can't believe that it has been over 35 years as an arts and music educator in four major cities. I think at this point I have taught every grade, pre-K through 12th grade and even college. Well, we come to a very special moment uh, in our homecoming concert every year, and that's when we present our Outstanding Music Alumni Award. And I'm so pleased and, uh, to present the award this year uh, to an amazingly accomplished alum. And I would ask you to welcome at this time Mr. Tony Small. Tony. <laughs> I have heard so much about you and your incredible career, and I don't know if you've had an opportunity to read through his bio that's in the program tonight, but it is extensive. And not only is it extensive, but it is incredibly broad and diverse in terms of the musical uh, activities and uh, the, the, the different aspects of your musical journey. Um, you have been and are a composer, a lyricist, an orchestrator, a conductor, a producer, a music educator, a church musician. And what I'm learning most recently is that you have also been a very powerful mentor to a number of people along their musical journeys. Hello, this is Terrence Smith, a former student of Tony Small, uh, coming to you live from my innovation lab here in Chicago, Illinois. I met Mr. Small as a seventh grade music student in 1999 uh, at the Academy of St. Benedict the African. And since then, I've gone on to get my degree in music and voice and conducting uh, and become a teacher uh, not only at the Academy of St. Benedict, but also at the Oakdale Christian Academy and the Oakdale Covenant Church. I also served as the Gospel Choir Director and Clinician for the North Park University School of Music, Arts, and Theater, also located here in Chicago. I'm grateful to uh, have met Tony Small and the influence and impact that he's had on my life that I now can have on the lives of others. Now, this group um, ended up becoming a camp, uh, a musical educational camp, where we ended up marrying with Juilliard and um, would work on some of Tony's works there as well. Um, and this really, really gave the kids an opportunity to um, co-mingle and just really have fun and kind of release their own musical inclinations that they might not have access to otherwise. Um, and especially from these 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 great teachers that, that we were able to, to work with. first musical that I ever did with him was called Shine Through um, and I ended up performing that multiple times. While we were working on um, Shine Through, I was given the opportunity to go um, with him to the BMI project in New York, um, which is basically where, you know, composers and whatnot get, um, get a chance to sit in front of um, some Broadway <laughs> legends um, and get their work critiqued and, and work chopped. And I was uh, chosen by Tony to um, be one of the, the kids that went up there. And it really just kind of pushed me into more of a diverse musical theater direction, I think, <laughs> than, than before. He said, who wants to sing? Who wants to dance? Who wants to act? And I raised my hand so hard. 
And that man's name is Tony Small. And he used to have Saturday sessions with kids, you know what I'm saying? Get 30, 40 kids together and learn some songs, learn some choreography, maybe give a kid a monologue or two and be like, go off, memorize that and bring it back to me. And that really got me started. That was what really ignited my fire for, for me choosing this career path. I knew I wanted to do it with my life. Can you do it again one more time? Drop it, drop. Next week. Um, very good. Give yourself a hand. That's your big homework assignment. Be seated. So tonight is the debut of Qatar, Qatar. The, the opera, uh, commissioned by the Smithsonian as well as the Sultanate of Oman. And written by Tony Small. There we are. Artistic direction from the world renowned Denise Graves. We are excited. We're thrilled. Yeah. You ready? It's been, I'm ready. Let's ready do it. Show. Let's, Let's do it. Do it. Hey! Hi, my name is Daniel Rich, and I performed in Qadar in the role of Sir Nani. For just enough, you learn to make more of less. Okay. Tony Small, amazing composer, amazing orchestrator, amazing scriptwriter. The dude is awesome. He's paving the way for the future. Denise Graves speaks for herself. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I just want to say thank you once again to them. Renowned musicologist Dr. Andrew Talley of Northwestern University hails Project 31 as a combination of high quality content, humor, and remote access, which presents an educational package that will outlive its value long after the pandemic is a distant memory. The world's favorite opera diva, Denise Gray, says that in a COVID world, creativity and productivity continues in this exciting digital piece for young people. It's charming, interesting, touching, funny, and relatable. She is so proud of Tony Small for bringing this work to the general public. This wonderful masterclass would not have been possible without the one and only Tony Small. Robert and I are so excited to be bringing opera into your home. So, without further ado, let's begin. In opera, composers use recitative instead of speaking, where the performer sings what they are doing, furthering the story along. This usually leads into an aria, which is when a character sings about how they are feeling. So, for example, if I was to order a pizza right now in Opera Land, and I found out that they had ran out of pepperoni... Hello, welcome to Monteverdi Pizza. Can I take your order? Yes, hi. I would like to order seven extra large pizzas. Very well. And what will be your toppings? All pepperoni. I'm sorry, but it seems at the moment we are out of pepperoni. But we still have plenty of items, such as bell peppers and anchovies. No pepperoni. Oh, is me this So that is more or less what a recitative and an aria are, and we have Monteverdi to thank for that. 
Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I am a classical musician and I play the viola. And for those of you who are not too, too familiar with the viola, this is a viola. And so on camera, it's quite large, definitely bigger than my head. <laughs> um, but it looks awfully lot like a violin. And while it is very similar to a violin, and while we share um, three of the same strings uh, as the violin, what the violin doesn't have is this one right here. This is the ticket. Mark G. Meadows. Um, I'm here at Signature Theater, a place that has seemed like a home to me for the past two and a half years or so. Uh, at this theater, I've been able to do amazing things. The jail is last jail. The show that bears the soul. Like uh, not only act and be music director for many musicals, but I've also been able to be a music director and a performer for many of the cabarets here. Uh, these cabarets have ranged from Stevie Wonder to Earth, Wind and Fire to Motown to Motown Christmas to Nat King Cole. Um, and, and all these cabarets, it's amazing because they actually allow me to bring in my family, the, the guys that actually play the music the way I wanted to sound. And uh, we actually put a story to all these cabarets. So it's not just us getting up there and just playing music, but we're actually telling the history of Motown. Or, or talking about um, what made these amazing soul divas like Aretha Franklin, Chaka Khan, Whitney Houston, and Gladys Knight, kind of what made them who they are. What are the three main components of musical theater? What is musical theater? Congratulations, everyone. You learned about musical theater today. <laughs> Some local students join popular gospel artists in a moving tribute to the victims of last month's attacks. More than 200 students joined gospel artist Sandy Patty and local artist Duwana in a multi-choir rendition of United America. The choir performed that song right here on Fox 59 a.m. to Friday after the attacks. Most recently, they received the Red Cross official seal for support on that song. A music video of the song is also being produced right here at the station. They plan to sell the video to raise money for disaster relief. Yeah, that's a wonderful song. Jump, 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 staccato! Jump, 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 staccato! Jump, 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 staccato! Jump, 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 staccato! Get off that note, staccato! Get off that note, staccato! Get off that note, staccato! Even though the line was smooth, legato. Connect is smooth, legato! Connect is smooth, legato! Marching face, marcato! Marching face, marcato! Oreo face, marcato! Of songs that we all love. 
I don't think most people know that the music educator's job does not end at 2.30 or 3.30 when the last bell rings. Uh, most of us run after school programs uh, because we can't get it all done in, uh, during the day. So your jazz band, your, uh, your musical theater show, everyone who's a music educator that I know also is the musical theater director. And then you run Saturday programs and, uh, and summer programs, jazz camp, band caps. That's all a part of the hats that we wear. These are some of my students, piano students. They're singers, they're musicians, they're incredible. And, and I have them, uh, I prep them for jazz band. So they're in the jazz band, they're in the orchestra. In, you guys are in a lot of things. You play violin, you play tuba and flute and piano with all great, amazing pianists as well. So uh, they are going to be seniors next year and I will have them a lot next year because we, we're going to do a lot of stuff uh, as far as studies of indigenous American music but they want to be producers, they write songs and so this is fun but yeah this is what we got out of gospel and but we've been talking about dominant chords, uh, some of the chords in gospel so it's been a music lesson as well and right and so there's a there's a section that's a gospel section right which is a kind of oh yes Isabel does the lead for that, right? And there's a part that is gospel that goes, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, but it goes from major, goes from major right, to what? Uh, in the music, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. But we've talked about in jazz, there's freedom within, with freedom in form. And if that were truly gospel, they would never, if you went to a church and played, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, you wouldn't do that in church, right? What dominant chord would work for that transition, that one section? It's the D what? D minus. D dominant. D dominant, right? Is that, where's the, yeah, you guys play it. What D, D major is? Right, D dominant is what? Yeah, D major is? Yeah, so in, so in jazz chords, instead of playing that, if you went to a church, they would play, put the, uh, they would put shout music to that. They go bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, right? And so to make that chord and that the note that they're singing, bless the Lord, and make that C natural work, we would do bless the Lord, right? and that's what we did in the play, right? So it's a, it's a music instruction, our music theory, and just um, a good session. So. You get to see that bless the Lord, right? So we really took it to church. Uh, it's the only thing we all do. But again, you can do that only because it's jazz and it's what, or if it's gospel or blues, why? Because you can, there's freedom within form, right? In the form. So uh, now, this next year we're learning walking bass lines. I thought we started walking. Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah! Yeah, and then I think we started in A E flat, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So you guys will be playing shop music next year. Okay. Well, it's really come full circle. Uh, as an arts academy director, I still get to teach, but not only teach, I get to design some of the classes and curriculum. That I teach and I love that. For example, my, one of my interdisciplinary arts class uh, integrates uh, from Bach to Beyonce. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, it literally filled up the first couple of days that we offered it to students. The best is yet to come. Thank you for the seeds that you've planted um, and the countless students you've helped and the countless of others that will be helped as a result of your leadership, your commitment, and your love for music. Thank you, thank you, thank you.